So hey everyone, welcome back to DV Tech. So you're back with a new interesting video. So you have a low end PC and you still want to play Android game or you still want to install an Android app, don't worry. Yeah, in this video, we're going to be seeing top four Android OS to install in your low end PC. So if you're new to this channel, please do subscribe to the channel for more technical and interesting videos. So let's not wait and quickly get into the video. So most of you are trying to play Android games on your PC or try to install Android apps on your PC where you couldn't. But now you could easily install it. How? Just by installing an OS. So yeah, in this video, I'll be showing you four different OS, four different best OS where you could install it in your low-end PC. Some might have high-end PC. They could directly install BlueStacks and enjoy it. But people who has low-end PC, they don't know what to do. So you can make use of the Android OS. So now let's quickly see which OS stands in the fourth position. So the OS which stands in the fourth position is the Phoenix OS. So most of you might hear the Phoenix OS. So one of the common OS as less it is built with the Android 7 version. So it is especially designed for the players who play PUBG. So if you're interested to play PUBG, you could install the Phoenix OS. And also this Phoenix OS is especially designed for the gamers. So if you're interested in playing any games or if you're interested to play any Android games, you could install the Phoenix OS. And also it runs on the Android 7 version. So now the latest version is the Android 12. So this runs on the Android 7 version and also it gives you a classical feel. So the features of Phoenix OS are, so you use shortcuts on the keyboard, right? Like for Ctrl V, Ctrl C, for copy, for paste, and also to delete shift plus delete, you use, you use some shortcuts. In the same way, Phoenix allows you to use some shortcuts and also app clones. So most of you clone your app, that is nothing but the dual apps. So most of you clone your WhatsApp. So you download the clone WhatsApp, you download clone Instagram. So it also has a feature of cloning apps. So the next thing is the Ethernet support. So it is nothing but the Wi-Fi connection or the internet connection. So if you have Wi-Fi, you could directly connect it through a dongle by installing the driver or some directly connects. And next thing is the Ethernet where you could connect it through cable. So few OS doesn't support, but this OS supports. All you need to do is just connect a cable to enjoy internet. So these are some features of Phoenix OS. So this stands in the fourth position. Now let's quickly see which stands in the third position. So the OS which stands in the third position is Android X86. So one of the most common OS installed by a lot of people, various people. So coming to this, so we're talking about the interface. So one of the most simplest OS where you could install and you can install it almost in all low end PCs. So it is also very simple. You just need two different steps. So first thing is install the ISO and boot it using Rufus and install it in your computer. It's very simple. So if you want to install this, you could just go to my playlist and check out how to download OS and install. So I have all the videos of Android OS installation. So if you're interested, you could just watch a video and install. Now talking about the features. So this comes with the latest Android version. And also it supports all the APK versions and compatible with all different apps. And this is especially designed for the Android gamers and the Android users. So it's also very friendly to use. So it is not at all complicated. It is very simple as I told you before. So this is all about Android X86 OS. So now let's quickly see which stands in the second position. So the OS which stands in the second position is the Bliss OS. So now coming to the Bliss OS this is one of the best Android OS I could personally tell you. Because I have installed various Android OS but I'm satisfied and comfortable with the Bliss OS. So it has got a lot of features and it also got a lot of improvements in the performance. So now talking of the Bliss OS, you could install all the Android apps as I told you in almost in all the OS you could install all the Android apps. Now coming to the performance, so this is especially designed with a lot of various options and also a lot of various features. So it also is battery friendly, added security and also it is compatible with all the different apps as I told you before. So these are some features of Bliss OS. So this stands in the second position. So this stands in the first, second position. So let's quickly see which stands in the first position. So finally the OS which stands in the first position is the Chrome OS. So most of you might be knowing the Chrome OS and also you might be knowing why it stands in the first position. So it is officially launched OS by the Google or the Chromebook. And in this OS, you could install all the Android apps and also it is secure. But for installing this OS, it's slightly complicated, but you could easily install by watching the video. So I have some playlist videos. So you could just go to my playlist and you can just check OS. So they have uploaded various and almost all different Android OSs on the playlist. So if you're interested to install any OS, you could just go to the playlist, click on my videos and install it easily. And I've also uploaded the Chrome OS. So in this Chrome OS, coming to the features, it has got various features where it supports all the apps, all the formats of the apps, and also it supports all the games. So especially to install the Chrome OS, first thing you need to be doing is install Linux and next thing to install the Chrome OS. First you need to install Linux on your system and next thing you need to install Chrome OS on your system. So you can just do it by watching my video. And coming to the features of the Chrome OS, it also helps you to develop apps and also it helps you to develop apps and applications and publish it in the Google Play Store. And also it really helps you to engage the people with your applications or engage the customers or it also helps you to engage the users of the Google. And also coming to the interface, it is very friendly. 
So this is not complicated, it is just like a mobile device. So how you use a phone, it is in the same way. So it is not complicated and you can make it simple. So this is some OS where you could install it in your low-end PC. So if this video was interesting, please give the video a thumbs up, hit the like and subscribe button and suggest this what to do in the next video. So if you have any doubts in installing the OS, you could comment it down in the comment section. I'll try to replay as much as I can. And also, if this video is helpful, share this video to your friends. So if you have any suggestions, you could just comment it down in the comment section. So if you want me to improve, you could surely comment it down in the comment section. I'll surely do that. So this are some OS and this is Vishwa signing out from DVTATIS.